Anthony Hartwig here with uh, tonight's winning coach, Jeff Fischel. First win of the year, coach. I mean, I know it's got to feel good to get that first win under the belt. Yeah, and the fact that it was a league game uh, amped up a little bit of how important it was tonight. And, and we've talked about this This was the game that we were trying to get ready for from the beginning. We knew what Hoban presented. We knew what Salem presented. And so we kind of had this game circled as, as game one for us. Um, we only had one scrimmage, so some of those early games we had to figure some stuff out. And, uh, you know, happy for the girls. They played really well, played their butts off, and uh, happy they get to celebrate a win. Was it kind of a blessing to have a league game after those two tough ones to kind of refocus and kind of find out what's important with these conference matchups? Yeah, it, it, part of it was scary because we haven't figured everything out yet. And, you know, maybe another non-conference game would have helped us be a little more prepared. Uh, you know, we weren't completely prepared for for tonight you know obviously last last night um our, our practice got changed up a little bit and, and we had to improvise so we didn't really get a preparation practice for tonight's game so we had to figure out and learn a lot of things on the fly tonight which is uh nerve-wracking as a coach but the girls stepped up and did really well talk about this defense i mean gerard came in they were hot they won two two games in a row you guys held them for the most part for for a lot of this game your defense is going to lead you this year. What, what do you see from them tonight? Yeah, it's going to have to, and give Gerard credit. You know, they, they've got talented girls. That they're, they're so well coached. Um, they, they, they do such a great job with that program that they execute their stuff really well. And when, when a team executes stuff well, it's hard to play defense against. And so I thought our girls stepped up and responded well to that. And sometimes that's effort. And you know, we've, we've had good effort all season long so far so um, just happy that they were able to pull that off and then we didn't rebound very well early and not rebounding well kind of hurt our transition game so once we figured out our defensive rotations we started rebounding we were able to get out and transition and get some easy baskets and I think uh, towards the end of the second quarter is when that started happening kind of swung the game and, and you know gave us a good feeling at halftime that, that we were going to be able to compete tonight. Tonight's player of the game was Emma Cunningham she led you guys with 15 uh, she's not alone, but she's one of the new leaders that has to kind of step up and, and, and grow into her leadership this year. What have you seen from her, and what did you see from her tonight? Yeah, so proud of her because the beginning of the game, she struggled. You know, we had a layup off the tip for her. She missed it. A couple possessions later, she had a nice little bunny, and she missed it. And so when that happens to a kid, um, it's easy to get down and, and not bounce back. And she stayed confident she played aggressive and she bounced back after those early little misses and she played the game of her life and she's you know a big part of why we got this win tonight i know coaches always say one game at a time how do you use this one for momentum into the next one well you know it's a process for us and we're not going to get away from that what we have to do is show up at practice tomorrow and, and get better and I, I think part of it though is that tonight was important because you know, there were rumblings out there, oh, South Range is 0-2, they must not be very good this year. I don't think people realize how good Hoban is, and I don't think people realize right now that Salem's not getting the respect they should be getting. So I think a lot of teams around here would have been 0-2 with our start, but our girls started to hear those rumblings about not being very good. And so to, to come in and, and get a league win tonight and, and get win one and just kind of get that message, they're going to bring some enthusiasm to practice because of it, and, you know, it's just something that we'll build on one day at a time. Coach, thank you so much for taking the time to join us, and uh, good luck the, uh, in the next game. world looks better in burgundy and gold, Anthony. Have a good night. You know it.